Namaskar, my name is Sudhashit Ghosh and today in this demo session we are going to introduce the Arduino on Tinkercad. The Arduino is basically an open hardware mechanism that has been developed by the engineers. So we are going to introduce the Arduino and let us see how it works on Tinkercad. So we will begin with the creation of our circuit. Basically, now we'll have a circuit. So when the circuit loads, as we can see here, on our left side, we have the working area and on the right side are the various components. So we are going to pick up the Arduino Uno, the R3 that we can pick up like here. So we'll zoom in and we'll first of all see what is there in the Arduino. Okay, if you see this board, okay, this is how the board looks like if you purchase it from the market. Now, these are the, we call it the digital pins. The digital pins are numbered from 0 to 13. So this is D0 and this is called D13. After that, we have the G and D, which is called basically an acronym for ground. We have a ground, a shortcut for ground, which is here. So, on this particular board, we will find GND written three times because this is one and these two are also there. This, this ground, this ground and this ground are all at the same potential. Means that they are all internally connected in this Arduino. Okay, now apart from that, we have seen there are something like PWM. This is known as the pulse with modulation so we will explain pulse width modulation later we can what we can see with the digital pins that they understand on a, on a generally they will understand what is high and what is low when it is high that means this particular pin is in the on state when it is low this particular pin will be in the off state so in the arduino language they are referred to as high and low instead of 0 and 1 or instead of say on and off. Okay, so let us try to see how this works and we will concentrate on the digital pins right now for this particular session. If we see this Arduino here and if you try to see this particular LED, this is an LED here, the light emitting diode, this is an LED here which is an indicator which is also called the built-in LED. Now incidentally, the built-in LED is also connected to this D13. Okay, so we will try to see how it works. As we start on the simulation, this particular LED will glow, blink basically. So it will switch on and switch off. This particular LED is going to do like that. How it is going to do that? Because the Arduino board contains an at mega controller, ATMEGA at mega controller here. This particular controller is programmed and then we have to set the program. When we set the program, this particular LED or the pattern which is there is, it can run. Okay, so let us try to control this particular behavior of the LED. We can control that using the coding mechanism. So how can we access the code? Let us see how to access the code here. So we have to press this particular button which is the toggle code editor. In this particular mechanism, you will see that this particular coding is already there. We will particularly take everything to the dustbin first of all and we will begin everything from scratch. Now, since this everything is deposited to the dustbin, if we start the simulation now, there will not be any behavior in the LED as you can see. So that was the code which was controlling the LED. Now that we have deleted the code, the LED does not show any behavior. So how do I make the LED blink and can we change the pattern? We will try to see, okay. So we will begin the code here. So first of all, you can see here the set built-in LED to high. Okay, 
so we have to make it blink that means we have to switch it on and then we have to switch it off okay so we have switched it on so let me switch it off now very simply we can just do that so it is high and it is we will put it as low okay now my question is whether this is going to work or not work it can work or it may not work so we will fold the code now and let us see what happens the led does not appear to blink our job was to make it blink but we have set it high which means it should turn on it should set off also but it shows that the led has the arduino board is in the on state that means it is connected but the led does not seem to be working that means there must be something wrong with this code so what is wrong with the code what is wrong is that the epoch with which this particular arduino receives this instruction is in the to the uh, you know to the order of 10 to the power minus 6 seconds that is one microsecond it's a very small epoch and it will not be perceivable to the human eye if we switch on and switch off the led very fast very fast that means with the gap of 10 to the power minus 6 seconds if we can do that we cannot perceive it because it's not physically possible to do that so therefore we need to change the code now so what why don't we make it wait so let us make it wait we will wait for maybe one second he's saying i may say okay i'm not happy with one second i will wait for half a second okay let us see what happens so i have switched it on it will wait for 0.5 seconds and it will again switch off so what should happen it should let's see what happens and we'll fold the code now we'll start the simulation what happens now is the led is switched on but it does not appear to switch off and why it is happening it is happening because that when we actually write this code if we transfer this particular code or if we look at the code that is has been written by this the c++ code that has been written by this particular procedure we are seeing that it has written it is written a loop here okay a loop is written here and the digital write led built-in has been set to high a delay is there for 500 seconds 500 milliseconds and then a digital write to low has been done which means that this particular thing is running in a loop but after it switches off it does not get any time but yet it has gone to high so therefore the led appears to be always on so how can i change this behavior we will add another weight let us see i will add another weight here and as you can see as we have just added another weight this particular line has been added and we will try to put it to 0 0.5 seconds and let us go back to the blocks method as we can see all right so we just fold the code now and we'll start the simulation and we can see that the led is glowing and it is switching off also it is basically blinking now the led has started blinking as we can see so we can change the blinking time so we can say this is uh, let us say 0 0.5 0 0.2 so we will it will wait for 0 0.2 seconds and it will wait for 0 0.5 seconds can i do that why not let us see let us try to see that and let us sum okay so yeah so there will be a different kind of pattern which we can generate with the built-in led here so why can i do this with an external led so that's a question can i do this with an external led with the same coding i have told you earlier that the 13 number pin is internally connected to the built-in led so what if i bring in led now i will put it and put the led here okay so we'll just position it appropriately right and the led will require a resistance so of course we'll bring in the register here where we will connect the register to the ground and we will connect it the cathode of the led 
to the register and let us try to connect this 30 number pin with the LED okay the manual with the anode and let us see how it functions now if it functions or not let us see it has started doing the same pattern as the internal LED or internal built-in LED which is seen here it is starting to do the same thing here if you are new to my channel please like share and subscribe if you have liked this video please tell others to also have a look at this particular video we will stop the simulation right now